Hello, Lily Queen here. How are you? Anyway, welcome to the um, Word Working Channel. Um, we started this channel for um, one good reason, and that is to share the Word of God um, the way we best know how. Um, especially knowing that the Word of God is our manual as Christians. I have come to realize that it has or holds the answers to all our questions in life, especially when you have a calling and you have no choice but to, um, you know, heed what God wants to do in your life. You have to um, dig into the Word and appropriate it or apply it into to your life. So this channel is purposely um, aimed at sharing the Word of God for the new believer, the seasoned believer, and anybody who wants to know more about how to apply the Word of God to your life. Okay, so today I'm excited because I um, have had this on my heart for the longest time and you know when uh, we make excuses you know um, I'll make it another I'll do it another time so on and so forth and now finally I am actually ready and we are getting into the Word of God like never before okay so what I would say is make sure you have a notebook you know a notebook simple notebook that you're going to be you know um, doing your, it is a, this is like a quiet time. I'm just sharing my quiet time, and um, it's going to be very short, like five minute um, um, sessions. But you will need to make time for the Word of God yourself, and this is just like a, an added um, opportunity to delve into the Word. So without wasting much time, let's go into today. We're going to start with um, John. Okay, we'll be working on the book of John and Genesis. I'll be doing it concurrently, but for now, we're just starting with John. John 1, chapter 1, verses 1 through 5. 1, 1 through 5. Let's um, read. I'm going to, I'm reading from the uh, King, not King James. I'm reading from Good News, the Good News Bible, all right? So here we go. Before the world was created, the Word already existed. He was with God and He was the same as God. From the very beginning, the Word was with God. Through Him, God made all things. Not one thing in all creation was made without Him. The Word was the source of life. And this life brought light to mankind. The light shines in the darkness and the darkness has never put it out. The darkness has never put it out. This scripture is interesting. It holds so much in these few five verses. But what I want to talk more about is the fact that it says all things, including you and me, were made through him. We were created through the word. He existed before all things. So just like any manufacturer or any designer or anybody, you know, when you make stuff, you are the author of that thing. So you know exactly the workings of that thing. If I design a garment and I, it doesn't sit right on the body, I know exactly what to do to correct that. You know, um, if I have to take it all apart, I know how I can put it back together. In the same way, if we originated from the Word, or we have our existence through the Word of God, in this case, the Word is a person, is being referred to as He. Later, with other um, 
scripture, we are going to be uh, ascertaining that the word being referenced here is the word of God. I mean, is 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 Christ. But for now, let's realize that if you are going to work anything uh, successfully, you have to make sure you understand how it works. You, that's why gadgets come with manuals. Well, our gadget is, we are God's gadget. We are God's masterpieces. And he brought a manual with us. He made us and gave a manual. That's his word. His word is our manual. That's how we function. And he went on to say in verse 4 that he was the source. The word is the source of all life. And that life is the light of man. In other words, if you're not walking by that light or that word, you're walking in darkness. You may, you know, have accepted Christ and everything. But then there may be areas, and I know that in my life, the areas of challenge, areas of uncertainty, areas of doubt, areas that seem like they have a, um, a shadow that has cast upon the, the, your life in those areas. It means that the word of God or the word which is light has not shined on those areas. And how do you overcome that? The only way is to dig into the Word of God to see what He has and what He's saying about that area of your life. Okay, so to wrap up, this is what I've learned. That we all have our origin from God and our existence and progress is all outlined in the Word. Also, the areas of uncertainty, doubt, darkness in our lives can be brightened by the Word of God. And we need to go to that to get illumination in our walk. And lastly, since we cannot ignore any manual, many times we try though, you know, you buy a gadget and you, you, you try to wing it, you try to fix it, you, you try to, you know, work it uh, without the manual. When you really hit a, a roadblock, that's when you tend to go back. What does this manual say, you know? Um, and we do the same thing with our lives, but our lives are more precious than the gadgets that we have. And the last lesson I want us to, you know, glean out of this scripture is that our manual or our blueprint is in the Word of God. And we have no choice but to treat the Word of God seriously, to take it seriously. We cannot uh, uh, ignore it and succeed in our lives. In other words, if you hope to unravel the mystery of this journey called life, you need to dig into the word. Thank you. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for your mercy. We thank you for your love. We thank you for your goodness and opening our minds and eyes to your word. Continue to open our hearts to your word and let us take it seriously and work our lives based on this rich manual that you've given us in the word of God. Thank you for your mercy. And let every listener on this channel encounter your blessing and your love as never before. In Jesus' name we pray with thanksgiving.